Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. Uh, this is going to be a series of videos where I'm building the DJ Aerotech Chrysalis Light 2 meter. Um, the Avia 2.5 meter that I am building to fly in F5J. I have temporarily put that build on hold. Um, the last of the F5J competitions in my area just wrapped up and I didn't have the plane ready for it. Um, there are going to be a, uh, a bunch of glider competitions going into the month of October. Uh, those are all going to be thermal duration, TD, uh, competitions. And uh, so there's going to be a variety of classes um, in the F3J and uh, going down in size uh, from 4 meters to 2 meters and below. Uh, so I'm building a 2 meter plane. This is a RES plane, rudder elevator spoiler. Uh, that's a class that is very popular over in Europe. That's kind of where it started out. Uh, hoping that um, kind of builds some momentum here in the U.S. Uh, if you are a member of a club, especially one that um, focuses on gliders, try to get people uh, to organize uh, that class uh, in their larger events and to promote that um, because it's a very inexpensive class. Um, the planes have to be made mostly of balsa and they're limited to rudder, elevator, and spoilers for control. So it's basically a three-channel glider. Uh, that is a fantastic uh, class for beginners, for people who are new to the hobby. Uh, they can't afford a $5,000 carbon airplane or even a $2,500 airplane. This glider is around $200 uh, delivered. And of course you need to assemble it, you need to cover it, it's a full build up kit. Uh, I'm going to be going through the entire build process uh, in this series of videos and I'm doing everything I can to keep it as light as possible. Uh, for example, um, this is a, uh, a covering that is part of um, Hangar 9's offerings. They make Ultra Coat and this is their Ultra Coat Park Light. This is made for uh, small planes and uh, indoor planes. It's extremely uh, thin and light. It sounds like it's going to be absolutely perfect for uh, the two meter class gliders. Um, let me give you some numbers on this. Okay. Um, I had to convert these because the Ultra Coat Park Light is measured in uh, ounces per square yard and everything else uh, is measured in square foot. So standard Ultra Coat is 0.3 ounces per square foot, which comes out to 2.7 ounces per square yard. Uh, Monocoat is usually one of the lighter coverings. It is 0.2 ounces per square foot or 1.8 ounces per square yard. Uh, and the Ultra Coat Park Light is 1.07 ounces per square yard. So it is a little more than half the weight of Monocoat, and it is almost about two and a half times, maybe a little over two and a half times the. Um, two and a half times less than the weight of Ultra Coat, standard Ultra Coat. Um, standard Ultra Coat weighs two and a half times more. So just to give you those numbers again, uh, from heaviest to lightest, standard Ultra Coat, 2.7 ounces per square yard. Monocoat, 1.8 ounce, excuse me, 2.7 ounces per square yard. Uh, Monocoat, 1.8 ounces per square yard. Um, Ultra Coat Park Light, 1.07, less than 1.1 ounces per square yard. So, um, I've heard that it's not quite as uh, shrinky, stretchy as some of the other coverings, um, partially because it's so thin. Um, I'm fine with that. I'm pretty good at using covering. I've been doing it for decades, so uh, um, I think with a little care, this is going to go on to the, uh, the wings very nicely. I may not use it on the fuselage. I'll give it a try and see how it, uh, you know, how much it, it wraps around uh, parts like the nose cone and things like that. 
but uh, the wing and tail surfaces are where you really use the most of your covering. Um, anyway, on to this airplane uh, and some of the specifics about it. It's, of course, a two meter. Um, DJ Aerotech is a very small, uh, I hate to even call them a company per se. Um, of course, they are a legal corporate entity, but it's just a couple of gentlemen who have been building planes for years. Um, they've got a lot of experience at this. They put a lot of time and effort into this. It seems more of a uh, personal interest than a business venture. And uh, they've got a, just a handful of kits out. Um, they run the mounting batches and uh, it, you know, definitely looks like a good kit. Um, they seem to have put a lot of time and effort into the various airfoils they're using in the wing. It uses more than a single airfoil um, uh, because of the different type of uh, build techniques that are used. And uh, it's a, it follows that RES standard, RES standard of uh, very little carbon fiber, just a, a tail boom. Uh, the front end of the fuselage is balsa wood, the wing is balsa and ply. Uh, V-tail, um, again, balsa buildup. So um, this should be very interesting to put together. Uh, as I normally do when I decide I want to build a kit, I set up a box and I start collecting all the little knickknacks I'm going to need to do the build. And I'm going to go through that in the next video. And I'm also going to show you everything that uh, comes in this box. Um, it uh, from the start, it just looks like a very good kit. First off, it comes with a printed manual. Uh, that is really nice. And it's loaded with pictures. Uh, it's very detailed on the build. So this looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. It also comes with full size plans. It's one of the reasons for the size of the box. There's a big roll. Uh, I believe it's two large sheets full wing and fuselage um, so something you don't see a lot these days uh, I'm really looking forward to working on this so uh, that's it for this video in the next video I'm going to open this up go through all the different pieces talk a little bit about the build and on the third video I'm going to start gluing stuff together well thanks for watching I hope you learned something I hope you're interested in this glider I hope I've piqued your interest in uh, flying uh, rudder elevator spoiler gliders and uh, maybe you'll ask at your local club see if you can get some of that going on thanks again for watching please click like and please subscribe to my channel